so... Seems like we looted all of these. Yeah, this is the caravan. <laughs> Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh wait, there was like a... There was like a button to like see if items yeah, were on the ground yeah, or not. Yeah, Do you remember it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you look just the type. Oh, can you come? Oh, is there an enemy over here? Oh no, you're talking to a chicken. <laughs> Egg thief. Tell her you're not no thief. Tell that to Big Marge, if you dare. <laughs> Counting the chickens in the journal. Uh, uh, where is that at? Here. And we encountered a broad, broad of panicking hens who have lost their eggs. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Wait, who is You can this? check into their... Oh, you can. What? Little Tiff? Little Wing? Little Loretta? Use. I don't know. Okay, how I wanna. Do I, how do I. Oh shit. How, how can I pick something? Like, how can we see again? Did you expect a needle? Um. Wait, I, we have to check. Like. F oh, here's the master hand. Come, let's see. Let's greet Big Marge. Okay. She like insanely big or something? I saw, yeah. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw <laughs> they were stolen. The babies, the eggs, something, something took them. <laughs> took them. Ask what happened. <laughs> Ask what the thief looked like. Ask her where the creature ran off to. Hmm. Uh, we j she just told us what happened. Let's ask what the thief looked like. If 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 I showed oh, you, I you could the bring them one. back. Ah, you could, you, you could bring them back. I thought it doesn't really matter how they look, it just matters where they run off to, you know? Map! Map! Show me your map! Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. In a flurry of feathers, she leaps up and picks a small hole in your map. Wow, That's fuck you. I went after my babies, I saw where they went. But they've changed so much, so much, much, much. <laughs> Bring them back! <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, um... We encountered a brood of panicking hens who have lost their eggs. Oh wait, according to Bidmars, the hen's egg were taken by a large, many-limbed beast. Probably similar to what we saw. Mm. Um, I'm gonna try to look for the button so we can see everything on. It's not. Shift, and shift you can see if you're hiding. Oh, there's pitch. Was it an there. alt? Yeah, it's alt. It's, um, yeah, alt no next to your spacebar. Oh, jar of honey. Beehive. Oh, pumpkin? And milk. Uh, oh, they are really heavy. Can we talk to um, this guy here, Pitch? Can I first? Wow, here are like yeah. a lot of people actually. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Or some people. Of course I'm right. Okay. The kid is whistling an off key tune as he strolls about shiftily. He raises an eyebrow at your approach, but says nothing. Ask the kid what he's up to. Eh, not too out. Just looking for someone. Seen a... a... Ben Mezd. Say that you saw him in the past, but he's not here. Shake your head. Tell the kid that even Ben Mezd is dead. Do we... I don't... Is he dead? I don't know this. Okay. Ooh. Baron won't like that. I said he's dead. Won't like yeah. that one little bit. The kid shoves his hands in his pockets and ambles off, resuming his tuneless whistling. Wait, let me see first if you have something. A teddy bear. No, not really interested in that. You want to talk to the guards here? Sure. Oh, these are magisters. Could they be... Get yourself in check, oh, shit. Boy. They just don't want to be running off like Milson and Tully. You'll just end up sliding down some Void Vulcan's gross gut. They're talking to each other. Oh. The older-looking magister notices your presence. He wipes his grubby hands downward across his greaves, as if to wipe away the grime, but instead smears more dirt onto them. Poor elf, what word do you bring? Tell him you bring bad tidings. That magisters and dwarfs at a wreck 
caravan outside town. Say you come with no word, you're simply passing through. Ask him what word he seeks. First one. His face goes pale, and his eyes open wide. The magister that greeted you remains stiff, as if enduring a harsh wind. The void woken come. Hush, Fader. You may pass, traveler. Dare say you'll be aching to leave before long anyway. But before you do, find Raymond, the white magister. He'll want to know what you've seen. Be quick, mine. He's set to sail any moment. He nods his head in the direction of the bridge, but offers no other instructions. As long as you stay put, okay. you'll be safe. The law of the order. Uh, sure? We learned that the white magister named Raymond has censority amongst Driftwood's garrison, which is seeking him out. Come back. And as long as there's no sorcerers, there's no void woken. You wanna walk here? Hmm? Fine, oh. I wanna walk? Welcome, Welcome to Driftwood. You maybe want to walk first, so if somebody will talk to you first and not just to me. Uh, oh, they have silent watchers here. Aren't they uh, the, like the silent monks? Yeah, what, what do you do? The silent wanna... monks' oh. stitched lips of the No, they expected. don't see. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna fight them. Yeah, I was thinking that too, actually. Were we here before? No, I don't recognize this, this place. This town looks peaceful enough. Word Let's Del? find out if looks deceive. I just read uh, cooking station. We don't need anything of this, right? You want to talk to the bulls over there? Yeah, but you first talk to this guy. Haldor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we drive out a kingdom. He just sings. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to the bull. Um. More queer folk it doesn't sell anything either. These days. Ask why the bull thinks you queer. What? M say that the last time you were insulted by a cow, you had steak for dinner. Thank the bull for recognizing you are indeed quite exceptional. What should I write? Give him. Just say the second one. It's funny. No. It's really funny. Come on. No, I don't want to insult okay. him. Uh, yeah, you insulted him. He did not Lane call you again. Day. Don't take orc eyes to see you're as queer as a pear-shaped apple. Just look at you. A sore-slinging stranger if ever I saw one. I'm surprised those rogue fellas aren't attacking you on sight. Anyway, what are you so mean? Tavern's just down the road. Can't miss it. Uh, first one. Cause that's where all the queer ones go. <laughs> Clanking dwarves, dozy lizards. He's I racist. even saw him drag a void woken down there in the dead of night. Don't know what's going on in that tavern, but it must be a freak show in there. Okay, let's walk to the other one. Maybe I'm glad I ain't pulling carts of stinking fish round no more. But what's a beast to do if not pull? Tell the bull he should just enjoy his rest while he can. Assure that he'll probably have no work soon. Second one, right? Yeah. Here's hoping. I've heard many a bull that's been sold off after the work's dried up. I doubt they were happy. <laughs> oh, we tours at a. Oh, what the hell's that there? White tainted crimson beam. Do you see this? Oh, yeah. There's a cautionary pamphlet there. You, you want to read it? Yeah. Uh. What is read. a beam? Sailors, scavengers, and fellow magisters do not follow the light. There is no lighthouse in all of Driftwood, and no friendly fire by which to sail. Midnight flames are a ruse organized by dwarven filth to lure you into their peri piratical trap. Trust me. I know when I talk. Magister, you bet it. Um, you should probably... You want to talk to Magister Raymond? Is he not the one that we are supposed to talk to? He's here. Yeah, the white robed one. Yeah, I'll talk to him. He might attack us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You done reading? The Lord Dread awaits. It sails billow with Dallas's breath. Oh. The Magister stops barking orders. He sniffs the air like a predator, turns to face you, the wolf eyeing the deer. 
Intense fellow, this one. Keep calm and courteously bid him a good day. Assume an air of lewdity and say you didn't realize you smell so bad. Look over his ship and ask him where he's going. Um. Okay. You do not get to make that decision. That decision is mine. A good day? Let's talk about a good day. Oh no, it's gonna be a shit day for him. Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? Your body mm. swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken with cast iron rods. Shake your head, you haven't. Ask why he'd inquire such, after such a horrible thing. Sigh and state that only humans are capable of such cruelty. Uh, third one. Mm -hmm. We do cruel things unto others and unto ourselves because we must. He licks his lips. Dry flesh turns wet. See, I'd like to string you up too, rack you with rods, and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. Intolerable. Ask what it is you've done to deserve such hostility. Cross your arms and say you've had quite enough of this. What's his game? Smirk and say you'd like to see him try. Third one. His sliver of a smile could rival a rattler's. I'm very good at what I do, see. I don't even need a sauce hound yapping by my side. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth. That is to say, sauce. Best convince me I was mistaken. Mm. Laugh and say you finally understand, but you're not a sorcerer. You seek to become a magister. Where can you sign up? How dare he suggest this such a thing? Lady Dallas didn't seem to smell a current of filth last time you in with her and for joy take a step closer and whisper he has a lot of nerve to accuse the best source hunter west of arcs of being a sorcerer i think strength is my best and it also sounds pretty good right mm -hmm. yes he leans in closer and sniffs the air once more interesting so i was mistaken must have been ambition i smelled on you not the magic that dare not speak its name very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. The very definition of your order's existence. Seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day in a quiet town. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf-troubled waters. But they do. You're intrigued. Inquire after these dwarf troubles. Say you have, would have thought him capable of dealing with a few unruly dwarves himself. First one, right? Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule. A beast. <laughs> the fucking racism here. Some <laughs> defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I have need of a rat catcher. Urge him to make his point. If you're to accept the role of a rat catcher, you'll need some more concrete information. Shake your head and say you have better things to do than chase vermin. First. Should we do this? Oh, you mean because it's against dwarves? No, no, no. Like these are thieves and shit like that. I'm just thinking, like, should we work for the magisters or not? Yeah. Okay. Of course. I must depart post haste, but Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Ask, and he will answer. Stay behind? But, but I've my orders, same as you. Mm. Like I said, Julian is staying. And with that, I must be off. No hard feelings about the death threats, of course. How about we part shaking hands instead of stringing them up? Um, shake his hand and say you'll look into the troubles with the dwarves. You've decided you won't, uh, don't want anything to do with this. Refuse to shake his hand. How very heartwarming. One last thing. The Magisters here are diligent men and women. A stranger like you may run into... troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them without fail, I assure you. Okay. Adieu Very and good, good luck. The mm. Lord Dread awaits. The use of the gallows I pass on to you. Okay, Law of the Order. Get on board and man your stations. You wanna read? 
Um, I don't have it in my journal. What? Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Um, we have met the White Magister, Raymond, who is preparing to leave Driftwood. He believes the dwarves are plotting to undermine the Magisters and asked that we seek out proof of this conspiracy. Raymond told us to look to the Magister Julian for orders if we wish to help their cause. Well, we can loot everything it, here. What are the chances? Here's a shark. You'd swear the shark was smiling at you. Is this the shark we killed? When did we kill a smart? I told you. Like in my update of like you we found a shark on the, the beach and we killed them to put him out of his pain. What? Really? Yeah, here's uh the guy we should talk to. Should I talk to him or do you want to talk to him? I You're looking him. for Magister Raymond. You're too late. He's a dot on the horizon now. Shark fear for all I care. And who might you be? Another adventuring type. Another? Confirm. You're looking for adventure and reward. Say you're a merely tra a traveler. Breathe in, breathe out. You are merely a wandering soul seeking to enlighten and be enlightened. I would say the second. Mm hmm Figured as much. So tell me, did you meet with the Magister Caravan on your way into town? The hour's growing late, and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. Yeah, first one. Confirm what you did. And the bishop's bones, you saw it. Out with it, woman. What happened? Tom, you discovered that the caravan was waylaid by dwarven marauders. Marauders. Tell him you came across a caravan east of town. It was destroyed by Void Vulcan. Tell him the place was littered with that magisters, sorcerers, and dwarves. Describe the scene in detail. Even the dead would tremble at the despair you witnessed. Yeah, I think fourth one. Yeah, because we don't really remember. That means source yeah. was used, which means some third party must have attacked first. And I have a fair idea who that might have been. Raymond, that old goat, always suspected there's more to the Driftwood Dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's Coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ship sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked and destroyed. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. Say that if you're to prove these accusations, you have to know where to start looking. As for Raymond, and he's expected the dwarves to be the culprits. First one, right? Yeah. There's a local thug, Loha. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him, find out what he's up to. But where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the east of Driftwood. It's wild. He, he said to the east, it was to the, the west. Where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working on behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. As for Raymond, and he suspects the doors to be the culprits. Say so you probably know enough for now. Ah, oh, we know enough. Oh, okay. In that case, go forth and let the hunt commence! In Bye. short, Travel east and oh. search at any such place. You actually took that? <laughs> I wanted, to, wanted to be sure. Okay, yeah, the wrecked just... caravan. Oh, we Close. closed that. We told the Magisters that their caravan was destroyed by Vod Vulcan. The Magisters suspect the dwarves may have deliberately used source in order to cause the attack. Okay. So, should we just talk to like some traders and stuff? Why do they have so many poison fish here? Because the... <laughs> Didn't I tell you? The, the sea around here is poisonous and all the all the uh, fish are dying out. I talked to a dog. We encountered a beggar with a sick dog. What could be afflicting the mutt? Pat the dog. Ask it what ails it. I would say to the second. Yeah. Got a pain in the neck. And got a bad pain in the neck. Aww. Lay your hand upon its neck. It flinches. A low, threatening growl builds within its throat. 
Slide your hand beneath a studded Under the collar, collar, you find the sharpened points of metal rivets, gouging the poor dog's skin. The dog bears its teeth at you and growls. First one. Tell the dog that you can he heal its pain, but it must trust The dog you. gives you a long, hard stare, but does not bite you. Turn the Yet, collar. The oh. dog goes to bite your hand, and then realizes the pain is gone. Hey, I feel okay. <sighs> you get seven thousand. Think I'll wander off now. Here, Forako, what can I do to show my gratitude? Tell the dog that payment in gold is customary. Ask him who put the collar in him. Give the dog a friendly pat on the head and turn away. Second. Master did. Ask the dog if he knows what what that means. Tell the dog that payment in gold is customary. Give the dog a. F huh? Uh, wait a minute. Master hurted me. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go now. But first, I have a thing I need to do. He turns to his master. You bad man, you! <laughs> that was a you 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 bad man. Okay, I'm gone. We encountered a beggar with a sick dog. What can be afflicting the mutt? We learned that the dog is pain because of some inward-facing studs on its collar. The man is man is using his dog's pain for his own profit. We help the dog and express its gratitude. I'm gonna talk to this idle beggar. Yeah. Oh, so he looks. You know what he did? What? Like he did that so so they both look in pain. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> like that's why he said like ask the mud if he knows what that means. Uh, tell him to get a job. Give him alms. Shake your head and keep your gold. What First is one. Keep his alms. Oh. Uh, give him alms. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tell him to get a job, I guess. Yeah. Got one on you, do you, sire? Alright, second one. Yeah. Then get out of the way, cheap skate. Fuck you. Penny for a sick dog, people. Go on there. Penny for a sick dog. Alright, uh, there are a couple of traders around here. You wanna talk to them? Woke up this morning. Okay, just gonna see what this guy has. So, my word, but you do look exhausted. Have I? Uh, got yourself situated. Whoa, I have one that has a lot of books here. Yeah, mine has a lot of books as well. Crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what like my abilities are. Yep, yep. Don't buy anything. I remember that I have like a special thing that I. So things are cheaper. Yeah, cheaper for me. Okay. Oh, I have an available trade. I can even put a trade somewhere into. So do you? Oh, there's a crazy too? amulet here. Holy shit! Keeping it together. How do I see my ability skill panel? I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too much. Spread You're safe your wings. among friends. Never forget it. Hmm. Why do I not have this here? Oh. You eat any of your How much polymorph do I have? Are you kidding? I don't eat what I sell. I usually Holy buy from over over there. Mm, no. No, no. Oh, Back yes. for a return visit, Wait. are you? Yep, yep. Let me see, Lotus, Skill Paddle, oh, she doesn't even have any memory slot, opened. Um, Woke up this morning in sweat. Can't oh, but I can give her, with no memory is that you get a slot, right? Need it back, safe. Ah, uh, yes. That's all you gotta think about right now. So I'm gonna get, get her something in the skill. What is, are her abilities again? She has this. Okay, Hydra Phyllis is the best for her. My word, but oh, you there's do two skill books. Oh, actually, like kind of three, but two skill books I kind of want to get. What are your um? Yep, yep. Uh, where are you? Do they have something for water? For water, no. This one is for archers and warriors, basically. Okay. Are 
Oh, Phoenix Dive. That's such a cool skill. I remember a guy used to, used to use it against us. Your touch creates a ripple across the but... mosaic. I'm pretty sure we shouldn't keep this tyrant things. Not sure though. Okay, uh, how much gold do you have? 5,000. Five? Oh yeah, I used to always give you my gold. <laughs> um... You need any supplies? It's stuck up if I were you. It's madness out there. Never seen anything like it. This is water damage. Ice forms a defensive barrier on the target, providing... Oh, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna buy one for 288, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna... Remember what is like useful to keep and stuff like that. Do we need two? Is that like a thing to keep? Huh? Is it good to to keep stuff? That was my question. Like, what kind of stuff would you keep? Uh, just anything that's useful. Like, food is really good. Like, books I can probably all sell, right? Like, we probably read these already. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we used to read all books, so we should have read them. There's this? no way to tell which ones we haven't read as well. So I'm just gonna sell everything to this person. Also, did you notice that there are, like, new now that are, like, um, that require blessed? to use the ability? Really? Yeah. Artillery plant, that's so cool. Okay, so I bought this. Until so later then. Do I need to buy something for you? So, um... Basically... Okay, I bought uh, something for um, Losa that gives Armor, I think armor is always pretty cool. Yeah, it's really useful. Like, because if you have armor or the magic armor, like being able to not get knocked down and stuff like that is super useful. Yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, from this trader Han here, there's a, there's three different skill books, but I think I only want two of them. So, there's Do you have one. Enough swords even? Um. Actually, yeah, I should actually check that. Sorry. Woke up this morning in a sweat. Can't get that thing out of my mind. Wow. Made it back safe and sound. That's all you gotta think about right now. Yes, I have. I would cut out two different skills for that. Does that make sense? Uh, well, we don't really use Bless, do we? So I would cut that out. And then, uh, I would rather want to have uh, you're talking to him. I'd rather want to have one of these. What do you want instead. as a spellbook? 
So you see the archery ones, right? Mm. The top row, way to the left one, there should be like a blessed one. I don't want that one though. Okay? Yeah, but the one next to it? The one next to it. And then the one way to the right in the same row. Those two. Boxman Fang. Yeah, it like goes through and deals okay. like damage through armor and stuff. I think it's cool. Yeah, do you have anything that you want to sell? I have plenty of weapons that I don't really need. Okay, um, then just bring them to give them to me. To Lilith? Oh, no, yeah, to Lilith, yeah. Got word from the factory that another boat went down. Things ain't looking good. Oh, what? Yeah. Do you give me a uh, magic dwarven staff? Yeah. Doubt it. Now they've got that what else do you general give me? in charge. Uh, they should all be next to each other, right? Uh, no, cause yeah. I already... Yeah. Okay, so, Halorn's Plane, Magical Dormant Staff, Laced Scale Armor, they're all next to each other, kind of up from here. Harness and Exterminator. All these are worth quite a bit, I think. This one... I still have some shit that I can just sell. Oh, I can give you this as well. We should keep like rubies and stuff like that, right? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Do we do anything with it? I think it's just worth a lot of gold, right? Sell it to a knowledgeable vendor and reap a fantastic war reward. We should probably like sell it to guys that are like like ru like rubies, right? Mm -hmm. Like if we ever see someone like that. Oh wait, we should sell this as well. It's like legendary. Legendary is pink. Crazy. Is it pink? Mm. I didn't know that. Mm, Do we have a legendary? No, they have a legendary. Oh, really? Holy shit. I thought it was like purple. Yeah, it's like. No. No, that's epic. That's epic, okay. My best gear is epic. Yeah, mine too. Or, or unique, of course. The carved figure is a resp Did you talk to the statue? Yeah. It, it makes like a warp location, right? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Did you give me the books? What are you doing here? Uh, Magister Verland, talk to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, say that you're just passing through an iron looking for trouble. Challenge the magister who sh she's to ask you a question. Explain that you have business with her superior and walk away. Second. I'm someone investigating the disappearance of four magisters. There's a sorcerer stalking these streets. An affront to our order. Several brothers have gone missing. Now tell me, have you seen a man in a grey cloak? Grey beard? Carrying a satchel, perhaps. Say that you haven't. Uh, smile and say that you haven't had the pleasure, but you will let them know if you find him. Yeah. The magister's eyes narrow, and her lip curls as she assesses you. It's vital that you report anything unusual. We must know. Is that clear? 
Ask about this person she's hunting. He arrived in Driftwood some days ago, dressed as a tinkerer. He bought and sold a few knickknacks. But we thought nothing of it until our brothers started vanishing. As soon as he knew we were onto him, he ran. We think he's hiding in here, but he's a canny one. Now, be on your way. Who knows where he could strike next? Mm, okay. Your two children. Joe's mum smells nice. Give me one sec. Not back to her. Oh, there's a beehive. Mm. Nothing in it though. Did you talk to the children? Hello, mister. The little boy looks at you. He picks his nose. You be careful. My daddy's a magister. No, he's not. His daddy's a fisherman like most daddies around here. Tell them that's nothing. Your daddy's a god, probably. Ask them what they expect to see staring at the water. Second, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna tell us our, their father's missing. We were waiting for our friend. Oh, no. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. He went swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Joy? Fort That's Happy. That's what I said. Fort <laughs> Joy. He's gonna find his mum and bring her back. Oh. Ask if their friend's name was, uh, was, is Joe. Tell them their friend is very strong and brave to go looking for his mum like that. First one. Cool. How did you know that? I don't even Mister, remember. Have you seen our friend Joe? There was a child in the beginning. Tell them the truth about Joe. They have to grow up sometime. What they don't know can't hurt them. Don't tell them. I would just first one. No. Oh, it was eaten by a shark. Oh, there was a shark. We got. I think we got a hand in it. Fuck. All right, kids. It's time you heard the truth. So here's the thing. Joe was eaten by a shark. First one. Neil, hug both children to you. Tell them it's going to be all right. After a moment, the crying subsides. Ben and Harriet Aww. snuggle into you. So where's Joe? Tell him Joe's gone. Somewhere lovely. Somewhere lovely. A farm or something like that. Tell them he's nice and warm in the belly of a shark. <laughs> Jesus. The first one. Yeah. They look puzzled, but the little boy seems to accept the idea. I think we should go home. Come on, Ben. Thank you, mister. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, mister. Aww. They skip away, still children, but now, somehow, older than before. Dead sentence. Oh, I got a reward for that. Fuck you. Pretty sh no, it's really shitty rewards. Yeah, no, fuck you. Bye. I'm playing alone from now on. Don't follow me. What the fuck you? Uh, so, should we talk to this town crier? No. I'm playing alone. What, what? Fukurata, come on. I'm gonna talk to him. It can't be far, can it? You talk to him. You didn't? No, of course not. Ask him to tell you the latest. Many a latest, my friend. The war, the bishop, the queen. What tickles your face? Let's ask about the queen. Jolly Justinia, queen of the dwarves. Ha! Scourge, more like. Here's twenty or so noble gentlemen. No one knows what they did wrong, if anything. And she has them stripped and whipped all the way to the execution grounds. Didn't even give him the dignity of a sword. No, ma'am. Had them all on. Real slow like. Oh, you ask me, here. and I say she's mad as a mink with its tail on fire. Queen or no queen. Ain't looking too good for them lizards. Word is, the divine order's gonna hit the ancient empire and hit it hard. 
Don't need to tell you of all people, them sauce-loving lizards don't stand a chance. Ain't no one left standing when you treat them to death, Pog. Seven sailors. Stabbed in the back he was by them vile, low-born, treacherous seekers. Kill them all, I say. Do them like Magister Raymond did, old Lady Siva. That'll teach them traitors. I mean, they doomed us all, didn't they? The Son of the Divine is dead. Gone. Who'll save us now? <laughs>